G'day ladies and gents, welcome to another episode. In this video, we're chasing winter whiting, also known as trumpeter whiting or diver whiting. So we're out in Moreton Bay today. These guys are probably one of the most targeted species in Moreton Bay. Beautiful eating, also brilliant baits. So I'm out with my son Sam today. How you doing? And uh, hopefully we get ourselves a great feed of these, keep a few for bait too. But um, I'll show you guys the techniques, different areas to target them. And hopefully you can get yourselves a beautiful feed of these fish. Hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. Winter whiting can be caught all year round in Moreton Bay and as the name suggests, the winter months are generally the best time to target them. During the cooler months the water becomes a lot cleaner so they can be found around the foreshores, estuaries and canals throughout the entire Moreton Bay region. Although you can find them pretty much anywhere in any depth, weedy sand and mud banks and the channels surrounding them are the ideal habitat to target these fish. Popular areas to fish are the sand hills around Moreton Island, the Rouse Channel and the surrounding banks of the Chain, Maroom and Amity Banks. In the Southern Bay, the banks around the Rainbow Channel, Dean Biller Bay and also the Banana and Pelican Banks are all prime areas to target these fish. In this video, we found the fish off the Rouse Channel around the entrance to the Maroom Gutter. Alright, so we're using pattern oster rigs. It's the easiest way to target these winter whiting. You'll see there, ball sinker on the bottom two pattern oster loops and I'm using really small little circle hooks for something different. It's my first time trialing this out. You'll see that's very very tiny. Makes it a little bit harder to put the worm on the hook but they seem to work extremely well. Sam on the other hand is using J hooks. These are bait holder hooks because they've got little barbs on the back end of the, the shank of the hook and that keeps the worm in place. You'll slide it on up past those little barbs that are on the shank, like so, and that holds the worm in place. We don't want too much worm. They're not overly fussy. If they're there, they'll come and grab that little bit of worm, especially on these circle hooks. You actually don't need much to hide the hook, as you can see there. Very tiny little piece, hides it beautifully. And you save yourself a bit of worm because these things are as dear as poison. Good one. Yeah. Right. Good size one, buddy. It's a nice one. There we go. Beautiful winter whiting, trumpeter whiting, diver whiting. Go from many different names. Beautiful eating and plentiful. They're everywhere in Moreton Bay. Great to take your family out, kids out. Enjoy a nice day on the bay. Get yourself a good feed of fish. It's about an average sort of size. Only grow to about 35 centimetres, slightly under. It's probably about 28, I reckon. So we've caught those first lot of whiting. I've marked it on the GPS. Often you find your schools, they will move around a lot. They move around quite quickly. Um, but I generally find they don't go too far. There's often a reason why they are where they are. So. Go back around, do a same drift back through that area where I'd marked where we caught those warding on the GPS. You don't drive back up through it, you do a wide berth back around it all, pull the boat up, and then do a slow drift. So you don't want to pull your boat up on the mark, you want to get past it. little diver warning on the circle hooks. Got one jump on, I thought I'd just let it sit there because these circle hooks go into the corner of the mouth like that skewers them really well. Which allows me to leave it there until I picked up another one. There we go. So these winter whiting or diver whiting they do not have a size limit on them. They have a bag limit of 50 but no size limit on them. They do make exceptional baits, so I don't mind keeping a good amount for feed and also some for bait as well. So I don't mind keeping the odd smaller one. Nothing too small. Still want a nice bait out of it. They're yeah, perfect. Tiny. Not bad size, buddy. Beautiful. Bad ball. Gonna end up with a swarm of boats around us yeah. now. Everyone's just spotted you doing that. <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit small, mate. We'll let that one go. Yeah. 
You'll notice when we're drifting along, watching the rod tip, constantly doing this. They're not bites, it's just that sinker running along the bottom, getting caught up in the little bits of weed and all those little indentations are in the bottom of the, the sea floor. So um, you've just got to stop striking at it. Just let that bump along the bottom. You'll definitely see the bites. They're more of a distinct, really quick bump, bump, bump. Work to charm again, just uh, basically caught the one, let it sit there until the other one grabbed it. The circle looks really oh good for doing that. They're jammed in there really tight. They're being such a small, very hard for you to see this, but being such a small circle hook, extremely hard to actually grab and try to get out. Very effective. Big dugong right here. They're absolutely everywhere through this area feeding. Yeah, they're all around the boat. Another one there. Another one out from it. Everywhere you look, there's dugongs. Absolute massive school of them. Or herd, I don't know what you call a school of dugong. Mate, there's so many. Holy smokes, look at them all. <laughs> I should throw them under a drone now. That is crazy. Yeah, bugger, I'll see if I can film it. It's a crazy, eh? Wonder how shy they'll be around the drone. All right, just watch yourself there, buddy. Make sure we're tight. As I moved the drone towards the dugongs, I noticed they spooked pretty quickly and all that could be seen was the stirred up seagrass from where they had been feeding. When dugongs feed on the seagrass, it creates a lot of disturbance on the sea floor which uncovers small crustaceans, fish and worms. There's no doubt that winter whiting take advantage of this and follow the herds of dugongs around to get an easy feed. After looking around for a while, I finally saw a dugong on the drone as it quickly swam past. I also filmed some schools of winter whiting in other areas that day. One being the deeper water around some coffee rock structure in the main channel, and the other being some shallow water around the edge of the weed banks, where the schools of whiting move past extremely fast. Good size one, buddy. Not bad. About average. Beautiful. Cast out and steal your fish. Average size wintry. Good. Got your worm back, Dave. Yeah. Oh, 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 are you going to lose him? Oh, oh. what was oh. that? <laughs> what slipping. was that? He was slipping. I thought you'd have a pretty good grip on your boy now, mate. You're then... 20 years old. I thought oh, you'd be buddy Jesus gripping real Christ. well. Holy smokes, buddy. Fishing for the future, mate. Just catch and release, eh? Yeah. They've got to get bigger somehow. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we're just doing big long drifts through the areas that we're trying to chase the whiting. When we do locate a few, I'll mark it on the GPS, we go back. Generally, we'll catch them there in a couple drifts before those fish have moved on. Sometimes they will stay in those areas. It's just a matter of trying to locate those fish in the particular areas that you're hunting around and drifting through. So you've got to be patient sometimes, but it uh, does pay off just to Drift those areas, it helps if you've got a little bit of current, a little bit of wind to push you along so you cover more ground to locate those fish. Here we go, hitting a patch. Got him. Slow him up, slow him up and get another one, eh? Go on, buddy, bring your mate along. Bring your mate over here for a party too. There we go. Let's see if we got two this time. Jory's, oh it's a cracker too mate. It's an all size one, look at that. He's a beautiful wintry that one. It's an all size one that one. It's getting on the upper end of it. Beauty. Now we don't let them go, Sam. 
We grab onto a tight, we take the hook out, and we put it in the bucket. Be sure. Just gonna mark this. There we go. Cracking little winter whiting. He's a nice size one. He's getting closer to uh, probably 28, 29 centimeters. Perfect size that you want. Get a nice little feed off those ones. Cracking fish. Seems a nice one as well. Beautiful. Well done. Quite a few, so we just hit a patch. I've marked it on the GPS there and we'll go back. A little bit of worm in that tiny circle hook. Works brilliantly. Don't need a lot of worm. Obviously your blood worms, beach worms, whatever worm you can get, work extremely well for them. Even little strips of squid and some of your little worm soft plastics, which aren't really soft plastics. They're uh, more of a bait than anything, but people will argue that. They all work quite well. What's wrong? Pick the wrong shorts. Oh, nice shorts, mate. Oh my... What the hell are they? Comfy. You just don't know style, Dad. Yeah, clearly. Do they make them in men's? Jesus. I'm comfy. Sorry, Pop. I thought I taught him better. <laughs> He's going to be disgusted in you. He's... You guys used to always wear short shorts, right? Yeah, stubbies, mate, back in the day. Well, Basically. that... Poppy did, not me, but... I was always more of a boardies, but... I don't know what they are. Stubbies. What do they identify as, Sam? <laughs> With the winter whiting, you do prefer the depths around that three to five metres if you can. Although you will get them in any depth. Like, I've seen them and caught them out in that 14, 15 metres of water in the middle of the bay, so... Um, just shows you can catch them just about anywhere and I have seen them in shallows less than a foot of water as well so just such a widespread species but I do find trying to be in the areas where they generally congregate and feed so that's sort of three meters you know up to five don't mind a sandy bottom with a bit of weed through it those winter whiting actually feed on crustaceans small little fish worms so you want to be in areas that does offer them some uh, source of food so it makes sense to be in those areas and, and chase them. All right, so how about we do a bit of a bet, mate? What's your bet, Dad? Uh, 20 bucks for the biggest whiting that's caught from now on. You better have my 20 bucks ready then. Ooh, someone's a little bit cocky and confident. It's just confidence, thank you. Mm. I'll just lay low and say, let the best man win. Ooh, as soon as I said it, bam, got a bite. Here we go, I'm gonna be on the tick. Because you're getting bites doesn't mean you're catching fish. Yeah, it does, look at that, straight on. Yes! See, that's why you don't be cocky, buddy. You I just... Need these too, don't worry. <laughs> doesn't feel real big, but... Oh, no, as soon as I said that, look at that. Oh, oh it's got done. two. Oh, oh, look at them all the following it. Look at them all. Stonker. Look at them all following. Oh, yes. All right, moment of truth here, buddy. Oh, Certainly, oh, oh. always. Oh, you lost. Oh, you lost him. I think I've still got him. You still got him? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still, still got him. All right. What do we got? Twenty-four, mate. Twenty-four. Twenty-four to be. Ooh. What do we got here? You reckon any bigger? Well, I don't feel confident here. Well, we're up on the shallow banks here. We're getting a lot more smaller fish here. He's tiny. Oh, that's a shame, buddy. He's... Oh, he's a bait one almost, that one. Oh, righto. Turn it up. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's tiny, mate. Oh, he's like 23, buddy. I need proof. Oh, mate, you don't need it. It's on video. He's tiny. He's cute, mate. A bit like your pants. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to revise this bet, mate. What was that? Well, I reckon 20 bucks ain't enough for this. Let's go 
20 bucks. If I win, 20 bucks. Yep. And you throw those pants in the bin. If you win, it's 50 bucks. Come on, that's a pretty good bet. I can't believe you're even you know thinking what? about that. You know what? I'll make that deal. You're going to make that deal? Yep. You're going to be able to afford this bet, mate, on your apprenticeship wage? As a second year? Yes, I can. Ooh, second year apprentice. He's loaded now. Sam's doing his apprenticeship in marine electronics. He's just gone into his second year. Uh, what's the actual name of the apprenticeship, buddy? The course that you do? So the course I do is Cert 3 in Telecommunications and Electronics. So yeah, pretty cool. Very niche market. A big thanks to Scott Haradine from Ocean Logic. He's put Sam on. Oh, he's on. What do you got there? I don't know, but it's big. Oh, don't tell me it's a cracker. I better not lose my 50 bucks here. Oh, you foul hooked him. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> so yeah, Scott from Ocean Logics put Sam on. He did some work experience with, with Scott and Scott was pretty impressed and, and wanted Sam put on. So he's just finished his first year. He's loving it, something different. Nothing's ever the same, is it, buddy? You work on a range of electronics and issues and installs, big boats all the way through to trailer boats. Never ends. Seems to be enjoying it, which is absolutely awesome. Come on, take the bait. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Not a big one. Oh, he's not a big one, he he's says. Not a big one. Look at him. <laughs> it's yeah, it's not a big one. It's not a big one. Oh, that's not bad. You've got to beat it, though, buddy. Yeah. You've got to beat this. Oh, oh. I'm rocky. Oh, that's oh, a good one. Oh, he reckons this that's is a good, a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, oh you got you got, you got them all following. You've got a massive school. Let me just throw this on the ground and quickly throw. Oh, I've got the worst tangle at the worst time. There was fish all around that. Let me just try and tangle this quickly. All right. 24. What do we got? 24. You happy with 24 and a half on that, buddy? I'm, I'm pretty happy with 24 and a half. You've got me here already. He's probably 24 and a quarter. All right, bring him over. Oh, actually, no, I think I think you might be. I think you might be bigger, buddy. Oh, oh nearly went over the side. It would have been a shame. <laughs> Cheating already. Yep, gotcha. What's that? 23 and a half. Twenty more to come. Nearly twenty-four, just under. Oh yes. Oh. Oh. No. oh. You a bit worried, buddy? Yeah. Let's see. It doesn't feel real big at this stage, unfortunately. Oh yes. I think it's a big, bigger one, mate. Yep. He's got ya. He's got ya. Definitely got ya there, I reckon. 20, just over 26. We'll go 26 on that one. Oh, oh yeah. 26. 26. 26. Let's see what you got here, right? Eh? We'll just quickly cast out while there's a few fish there. He's not fighting a lot. Oh. That's let me feel good. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's putting a bit of fight in. Is he going to be 26? Oh, he's got two as well. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, no. There's a bit of weed following caught on the sinker. Nah. Tiny. Nah. Oh! <laughs> that was tiny, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I paid you out for doing that before, and I did the exact same thing. That's gold. Bloody cheat me out here. Sorry, mate. Hey? Sorry, buddy. I'm getting that 50 bucks now. No, I'm pretty sure this was your big one. <laughs> no, no, it definitely wasn't. Look at the size of him. He's oh, tiny. He's a good bait one, that one. Perfect bait size. Oh, no. Stitch up. Sorry, mate. I fully stitched you up there, didn't I? You did it on purpose, didn't you? That is gold. <laughs> Whoops. Better luck next time, buddy. Better luck next time. Start cutting your line soon. Ooh.
It's gonna get nasty here in a tick. <laughs> 50 bucks is on the line for me. And those awful pants are on the line for you. Bring it on. So we're just drifting away. They've got the Rouse Channel through here and we're just drifting off through the banks. There's a green zone off over this side and the green zone's on the other side of where we are at the moment. Just be, make sure you're always checking your maps. Work out where you are. I think it's uh, Fisheries Queensland 2.0 app, I think it is. If you open that up, it'll actually show you where you are sitting in relation to those green zones, so it's very handy. And I've got a fish on, buddy. I'm not sure it's going to be a... No. Oh, it's not a bad one. Yeah, no, that's tiny. It's... Oh, it's tiny, he says. It's a good one for a bait. Oh, no, that's not that tiny, buddy. Look at that. Oh. It's a good fish. It's got a bit it's of a good fish. It. I'm just going to let that sit and get two, because anyone can catch one. Hey. Yeah. Anyone can catch two with circle hooks, all right? Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got two on anyway. Oh, he does too. Where's it going to beat 26, but... Oh, I've only got one. Oh. It's not big enough either. Oh, watch the Juco. No, he doesn't do it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, he hit hard. He's putting a bit of a fight in this one, buddy. Any size? No, just two of them. Oh, he's not a bad one. He's probably about 25, that one. He's, he's Maybe 26. One. He's not bigger than my 26, though, I reckon. So. Oh. There we go, guys. That's our fish for the day. So we've kept 30 aside to eat. Another 15 of the smaller ones I put aside for baits. Put them inside at Wilson tumbler scaler bag tow that behind the boat and they'll scale our fish for us now we don't want to tow it too quick because we don't want to bruise it and they'll go a little bit mushy so just a nice slow steady speed rip those scales off only takes probably less than a minute to two minutes behind the boat get it in the wash behind the boat and uh yeah very handy little tool to have to scale your fish i tell you Absolutely perfectly scaled. Fish is still nice and firm, so it hasn't damaged the fish. Ready to be filled and eaten. Well, guys, that puts the end of the episode. We had an absolute cracking day. Have a good day, bud. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Awesome. Nothing better than spending it with family. Great day chasing the whiting. I hope you guys learned a lot along the way where to target them, how to target them. Just enjoy a good day catching winter whiting. Great feed of fish. Nothing better, and even better. I won. Yes. 20 bucks is mine and his pants. But you know what, buddy? You can keep your 20 bucks. I want those pants. They're going in the bin right now. That's them gone in the bin, buddy. So happy about that. I'm glad I won that one. Kept me 50 bucks and got rid of those feral looking pants. Happy days. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Learned a lot along the way. Go ahead and catch your own whiting. It's great fun. Till next time, tight lines.